What's up, my joys? Welcome back, back to my YouTube channel. My name is Almond, and you guys should totally subscribe. So, in today's video, I have no idea what this vlog is going to be about, but I decided I'm going to pick up my camera, I'm going to vlog, try to get some good footage in for you guys, and just show you what I'm up to today. You may or may not be able to tell, but I just did my makeup. I got dressed for the day. Let me show you guys a quick outfit of the day. Not in a mirror, though, because I don't have time. This is the outfit of the day. Yeah, I feel very cute, and hopefully we have a good day today. Of course, as always, I'm going to take you guys along, and it's going to be good vibes. <laughs> So right now I'm in this store, kind of like it's a gift shop. Basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to get myself like some type of wear. Like honestly, maybe something like this. Something that says Myrtle Beach. I really want to get a hoodie though because I'm a huge hoodie gal. I might be in the kids section. Okay, so I was in the kids section just so you guys can know. But they got like some cute stuff. They got sweatshirts and hoodies. So we will see. Oh, they got little hoodies. They got these sweatshirts. Only $5. And let me look. So we just made it to the Starbucks. Now we're about to go in. I will get the caramel brulee latte, but can I have the ice as well? Grande. That's all. Almonds. All right, guys. So we got our Starbies, and it looks like this. Look at the top of it. It's so cute. Megan got, I got a toasted white chocolate mocha. And show us it. It like, looks so cute. Put like red like sprinkles on top. I guess. Yeah, I, I guess. So, anyways, this is what we got. Really cute, and we'll do a taste test in the car, of course y'all so i'm now back in the car and if you guys couldn't hear me when i was out basically i got a caramel brulee ice latte and i got it in the grande size since we're like on the road traveling i didn't want to have like a huge cup of coffee so that's what i got it looks really nice but i'm gonna do a quick little taste test and let you guys know how it tastes it looks really cute though oh that's good that's really good i feel like i always have the same reaction and megan got toasted white chocolate mocha. here i'll let you try mine and so I'm gonna try this too. Hers has like red sprinkles on top and then she added some, what was that? Uh, cinnamon. She added some cinnamon on top, so I'll taste this too. Yours is good. Oh, yours is good too. They're really good. Hers is more vanilla and mine's more caramel, which is probably why it's named that. But really good drinks. I recommend if you guys going to Starbucks getting these drinks because they're really good. So that's all we're gonna say. Peace out. <laughs> this is a la later. It's currently 12, 14. Or 15 rather. Anyways, my sister and I were about to go and have, we're about to go and try these like little, I guess you could call it chocolate balls that you drop inside of your hot cocoa or your coffee. Of course, me being me, I'm half the, I'm doing it with coffee. Um, and I'm just gonna see how it goes. And this is gonna be our first time trying it. Hopefully, it's good. It looks very good. It looks appealing. We got it both in like the chocolatey flavor, um, but we already have peppermint creamer. So I feel like those two things are gonna go very good together. <laughs> Honestly, was not wasn't that bad. It's like chocolatey or whatever. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna drink this. It was nice to just try out something new, like a chocolate coffee bomb. Um, but yeah, I just I guess I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate as much as I thought I was, and it just doesn't taste good. I think this was more so supposed to be for like hot cocoa. So if you got hot cocoa, get this for it. But if not, I don't know if you should do this. At this point, the video just kind of like got all I don't want to say messed up. I don't know how to explain it. It's very like all over the place and just everywhere. Pretty much after this, it was a couple of nights later and that is when I went home, which is where I am right now. I'm editing this video, but um, that's the next clip that you guys are gonna see. Hopefully that makes sense, like, yeah. So literally just like that and we are now back home. Some of you guys might not know what the setting is, but this is like my actual house and my actual room. So little, little view. But anyways, yep, so the rest of this vlog is obviously going to continue being here. It feels like very weird to be vlogging in this setting again because it has been a long time. So I know you guys saw us like shopping and going out and I wanted to show you. We actually got some stuff and we some do a quick little haul. These bags, both of these bags are not mine. One of them actually has my sister's things in here, but I'm still going to show you guys. So 
we ended up getting matching things. I don't know why, because when we were younger, when we were like kids, we hated matching so much because our mom always did it. She always like did our hairstyles like, our clothes like. We hated it so much. But now that we're older, it's just like fun thing for us to do. I personally love matching now. So anyways, that's a little side note, but I got these pants they say Myrtle Beach it's like jogging pants and they're super cute and they're in this purple color and yeah I really like them so like I said we both got a pair of these matching and then we also we also got shirts like these which these are so cute they also say Myrtle Beach I like it because of the little like bus hippie bus on it if you guys can see so we got these alike together and then last thing that we got both was we got hoodies, but we decided to get them differently because it was a little too much matching. So anyways, this is my hoodie right here. I'll show you guys. I decided to get a green one because I don't have a green hoodie. I thought it'd be super cute. Um, but yeah, so it looks like this. It says Salty Vibes and then it has Myrtle Beach on it. I think it's very cute, so I can't wait to wear that. Let me put this away real quick. I will show you guys my sister's hoodie. So this is my sister's hoodie. It's also super cute. Hers is yellow and has like Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on it and just like kind of different things. It's almost like patchwork but not at the same time so it kind of looks like a bunch of stickers. Yeah, this is it. That's the haul. Now I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner and then I will, and then I will come back and talk to you guys after that. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just going over a little bit of my homework, looking at the discussion boards and some future assignments that I have to get done in the next couple of days. Um, but like something that I want to say going along the lines of like what this video is about is how um, I'm really grateful that I'm doing online college and I think it was a very good decision for me. I mainly want to, basically my main thing is I'm trying to prioritize my peace and do things that I love and just like not have stress in my life. Being an online college, having that is flexible really just helps out so much. So yeah, it really just helps out so much with kind of just having my own schedule and doing school and getting things done. It honestly just works out so well for me and I am glad that I'm doing this. If you are a person who just likes to kind of do things on their own time, um, but you're also a person who still likes to try to be productive and get things done, I recommend doing online college. Um, not only did I do online college, but I also did online high school, and that also worked out for me best because, I don't know, I just feel like everybody has their own personality, their own way of learning, and this one just fits me best. So, if you are anything like me, then I recommend doing online school because it's not as bad as people make it out to be. You just have to be very, like, determined, and you have to have a little bit of self-discipline, like, for yourself because, obviously, I mean, maybe in high school, your parents are going to be on you a little bit about getting your work done. But in college, like, that's on you. That's 100% on you. So it really just has to be something that you are motivated and determined to get done on your own time, fully dependent on your own schedule. So anyways, that's just my little chit-chat. I want to say that. And yeah, so I'm going to keep on doing a little bit of work before I go to bed. Like, go, I might watch some TV, chill out for the rest of the night. I really just want to have chill vibes. I also might do a little bit of editing because I'm trying to work on my uploading schedule and just film a lot more for you guys, upload a lot more. So my regular uploading schedule before vlog Vlogsember was just Wednesday and Sunday, which I actually really love those days to upload. So I think I'm going to stick to those days, but I'm going to throw in another one. So instead of uploading two times a week, I'll be uploading three times a week. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but we will just see. Um, try my best, like I said, to film a lot and just stay consistent. So we will see how that goes. But as of right now, my posting schedule is Wednesday, Sunday, and Friday. I totally said that out of order, but it's okay. You guys get it. So, that's it. Let's finish up doing some homework assignments, and then also I did a little bit of editing, as you guys saw, or my then see, I don't know. I really wasn't focusing on the placement of my camera. I was just trying to get work done and basically I was able to get some work done so I feel accomplished for tonight it's me time so it's time to do some things that I love which that is watching tv I'm a mystery girl crime any like crime show I'm in it I'm on it I'm watching it so it's kind of like my little guilty pleasure so I'm going to be watching it I don't know which show I'm going to watch but something I'll find something so I'm going to do that chill out I still got my can soda 
takes me forever to finish anything. Also guys, no coffee tonight. Literally breaking my soul as I say that sentence. We didn't go grocery shopping. This is actually the first day back home that you guys are watching this. So uh, we didn't have time to like go to the grocery store or anything because we actually got home late. For that reason, we like, you know, don't really have too much food, just the food that we brought and whatever we left that's like not expired. So we don't have any milk at the moment or any of like my special creamer because I use it all up. It makes me kind of sad, but it's okay. Also, I just wanted to mention, I don't know if you guys can tell anything different about the vlogs. Probably not because I don't know, but I am editing with a new editor. I used to edit with like Filmforth and then I went to Clip clip champ i think that's what it's called um and both of those work great so i'm using filmforth because it had a watermark on it and i was not ready to pay any money for some editing so i stopped using that i started using clip champ that one is still good it just takes a very long time for everything to load in so if you have pictures that you want to add to the video or you have like text or like a sticker or like music anything that you have to like manually load in it takes a long time so that's the only reason i stopped using that and then i found out cap cut through another youtuber so that is my new editor at the moment and i need to actually update that in my description box because i realized it says the wrong things if you guys look down there and it doesn't say cap cut remind me and i promise i will change it but yep that's basically all i gotta say like i said i'm gonna go and watch a tv show for a little bit and then after that i will eventually head off to bed but yeah just relaxing tonight Alright, so update, it's very much later, and I'm being super bad tonight because I stay up way later than I should. It's 1.59, wamp, 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 that's not good at all. I've been trying to work on my sleep schedule, it's so hard to get back into a routine of waking up on time. I'm going to sleep early, but I'm trying every single day, it's going to be an effort um, towards getting into a good sleep schedule. I said all that to say that I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video because I don't really feel like I have anything else that I want to share with you guys, and I really just want to... And I've already like halfway done editing this video, so I think I just want to spend my last couple minutes like editing, finishing up this video, getting it like prepared and ready to upload, and just kind of having it out of the way for you guys. And then tomorrow I can go ahead and start working on another vlog. So that's basically my thought process at this time, and I hope you guys understand, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video as far as it went. I know I didn't do like too much, which is the reason why I decided to title this like a visual diary, because I feel like... Like I said, I feel like that's what a visual diary is, where you put everything together and it kind of is just like a whatever goes type of video. I personally love watching those type of videos, so this is what this was. You guys just got like a bunch of clips from random days in my life just whenever I felt like picking up the camera. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and if you guys want to see more of these, I would definitely love to make another one for you guys. So that's basically it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I will... Be sure to continue making videos like these that if you guys like them watching them or any other videos you guys like watching, just let me know and I'll make them. So that's it. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Peace out, Angel Babies.